right, I'm getting ready to go on a little ride. It's, uh, what month is it? March, good March. Spent yesterday. This thing was so flat. How many miles do I have? 2,400 miles. That's all I got out of that back tire. The front one was okay, but I went ahead and put the Shinkos on, 244s. And the shop wanted like $110 per tire, and you couldn't even bring the bike. You had to bring the tires on the wheels separately. So you'd have to bring it. I mean, I couldn't take both. I don't have a lift. I couldn't take both off at the same time. I would have had to bring them. And $200? Are you kidding me? So anyway, I needed the practice anyway, so I did it here in the driveway. And uh, I just used the tools that I have on the trail. And uh, it was painful. It sucked. The back one really sucked. The front one was pretty easy. But uh, it wasn't a lot of fun. That's a stiff tire. So uh, anyway, I'm going to go check these tires out. Hopefully I don't... Hopefully I did it right this time and uh, I'm not stuck out there somewhere. But uh, I'm gonna go up to Hot, Hot Springs, check out some roads up there and uh, see what I can find. So the, the Shinko 244s are pretty aggressive and so even though I had them on the Honda, the Honda only goes 50 miles an hour so I was really wondering how these would do on the, on the highway only going like 65 or so but they feel fine which I'm a little surprised I thought they'd be uh, I don't know a little wobbly a little bumpy or something uh, but they feel fine I don't know about you guys but uh, every time I change a tire or take the wheel off a bike I'm always like did I did I tighten down the axle enough did I for sure you know what I mean? Alright, that's enough highway for me. And damn it, I wish I had gone out yesterday instead of today. Because it was much warmer. It's probably 50, 45, 50 right now. It's a little chilly. And I think I'm climbing a bit, so it's going to get even colder. So maybe this was a dumb idea, but... It's a beautiful clear day. I gotta get out and about. The brakes are definitely, uh, they need to get back to their normal braking status because they are soft right now, especially the back one. And after I put the, the back tire on, I just went around my, my neighborhood a little bit and um, to pump the brakes and whatever. And it was, uh, it was locking up the tire, but it wasn't braking. Like maybe these, I think these tires probably need to wear in just a little bit before they become their grippy selves. Here's a little random feature of the Himalayan that I like, these hazard lights. This guy is afraid to pass these bikers and he's going so slow. And you know how we all uh, feel about being rear-ended. Maybe those hazards will help a little bit. I guess all bikes probably have that these days. There you go, buddy.
stopped back there, I added a little detour here on the way to Hot Springs, mostly because that squiggly stuff looks cool, maybe. But also because this will take me through Bernard, or Barnard, I don't know how you pronounce it. And um, I've mentioned this before a long time ago in some video where I don't know if, if, you, if you're out in the rural areas, you know, it's mostly just houses, but every now and then you'll come across like a two or three story cinder block or brick building that was probably like used to be an old country store or I don't know, an old whatever. But they, they just seem to be in the most random weird places and they're old usually. And I wanna live in one so bad. And I think I'm gonna go buy the, the one that I wanna live in the most. And I'm pretty sure since I've been there, because I went, on, I went on like a Google fest trying to find out, all right, what am I doing? Well, I already screwed up. Lower pawpaw. You know that's gotta be good. Um, oh, hell yeah. Anyway, I think somebody, some hipster, has sort of started to fix it up. I don't know if it's a hipster or not, but. Anyway, I hope I go by it, because I want to show it to you. I've gone, actually, I've gone by it in a video before. It was the one where, oh, what was it? I went from Trust to Marshall. Oh, it was the one with the, uh, the telephone where you could call um, dead people. Oh, and I can already, the difference on these tires, I can already feel. That back tire was so bad. Stuff like this, I'd be skidding, skidding all over the place. And I'm feeling pretty solid. I mean, you gotta take a detour when the road is called Lower Paw Paw, right? And look at all that squiggle up there. This is gonna go up, I think. Oh yeah, these tires, yes. upper paw paw goes not the way I want to go at all but ooh, that looks cool too though noted 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 I'll be back upper paw paw
took Little Ugly Home Fry out yesterday. Damn, it was nice yesterday. But uh, I needed a stem tool, whatever that's called, where you get the valve out, because the one I had got screwed up. And uh, we did some hooligan errand running around town. I mean, come on, she's very fun. But, <laughs> oh. Also, the Himmy's name is Blockhead. I th it just sort of, uh, it just sort of makes sense for this bike. It's kind of just dumb, heavy. I don't know. It doesn't reflect its coolness though. All the possible bikes, this one looks the coolest. In in this sort of like adventure bike kind of thing. Johnny Powell really likes the new Husqvarna. What is it? Nord maybe? Something? He wants one so bad. And honestly, it doesn't it doesn't look that bad. But all these bikes, they're just there's so much plastic. I mean there's plastic on this bike too, but and I think it has to do with the uh, the liquid cooling because they need to, I don't know, cover that up or whatever. I'm not sure, but I just like the looks of this bike. It's kind of old school, cool. Still getting a little of the slipping when I uh, when I sort of engine brake. So maybe that's just what happens. It wasn't the tire. I just it's not something that happened on the CT. It's just this bike. Still trying to get a feel for where my confidence level is on these tires. They feel pretty grippy, but I gotta figure out what's doable and what's not doable. What's that all about? Chickens? I was texting with John and Steve this morning about the uh, Continental Divide Trail. Man, I just don't see how I can do it, man. I can't deal with shipping. It's too much money, and I'd have to ship both ways. It's just, it would be crazy expensive. That's two grand right there. And then the flights, let's say that's another grand. More, more than that, probably. So at least 3,000 just start now. I'm not, I can't do it. I can't do that. And to ride, all right, now let me, what am I doing? Am I going, yeah, but there's, there's Barnard. Um, to ride, it would take me at, probably four days to get to the start on the Mexican border. Mexico, New Mexico. I think it's New Mexico. Um, take me four days to get there. I think it's going to take 20 to 24 days to do the Continental Divide Trail to the Canadian border. Steve may keep going into Canada because he's a, he's a man of leisure. <laughs> he can do whatever the hell he wants. He doesn't have any time constraints. 
which I'm quite jealous of, and I know John Johnny Pow is too. Um, and then it, and then it's going to take me seven days to get home, and that's on like uh, you know avoiding major highways, which I just don't want to do the highway. It's no fun at all. But uh, getting there and getting back is not going to be a blast. I don't think it's just going to be brutal slabbing and that won't be fun and so 24 plus 7 that's 31 plus 4 35 days dude that's a lot of days I just don't know if I can swing it I mean I can't swing it so as epic as that trail is going to be compared to the East Coast BDRs, I think it's going to be the East Coast BDRs for me this summer. And I'm going to save the Continental Divide Trail for maybe next the next summer. I'm not sure what's going to change between now and then. Maybe I'll have become uh, wealthy by then don't think so but anyway oh Jesus the wind all right I hope this is the right spot because you got to check this place out oh this isn't the right spot oh yes it is that is that's it see that brick building over there that's where I want to live. doing it up. Somebody's doing something cool to this place. Look at that. Oh, come on. How are you doing? <laughs> well you have a good one Th thank you sir well I wish you could have heard all that because <laughs> I got the whole deal man the guy who owns it some rich guy from Florida I think uh, there's something about a church involved I don't know I'm not exactly sure what that's about um, and there's gonna be a store put in but the guy who owns it doesn't know what kind of store yet and he's building the porch and <laughs> that guy lives there for now that was uh, Wyatt I think and then he started telling me about building bridges in Asheville and uh, 
Anyway, interesting guy. I probably could have just sat there all day and talked to that guy. I think he would have liked that. But man, how cool is that place? Massive garage for 10 motorcycles. Live upstairs. Right on the river there. Pretty cool, man. I could live there. My wife, mm, she could not live there. And I'm not sure how much uh, Pilates business she'd get way out here. Anyway, that's my dream home. All right, now hot springs, let's get going. Well, because I'm a dummy, I, uh, I had a shoot yesterday for work and I took my GoPro and all the batteries and I grabbed the GoPro and none of the batteries. So I have no battery for the GoPro. I mean, it's charging, but here's me right now. The forest road I wanted to take was closed. So I found this one, which is killer too. And uh, man, North Carolina. And there's some four by four, like, can you see that down there, that, that road? Um, it looks like it's, you know, like a obstacle course for four by fours. I don't think I'm gonna deal with that today, but uh, it's beautiful out here. Well, I wish, <laughs> I wish I had the GoPro to show you this killer road. I'm on Hurricane Gap logging road. <laughs> And it's, uh, it's, there's been some rough spots. And I feel like I'm out there. It's good road. Good road. Sorry I don't have the GoPro. I don't have to tell you. It's still charging. Not really charged, but you gotta, you gotta see some of this. Just went through a mud puddle. Or a mud bog. That almost did me in. I mean, if I get stuck, I'm so screwed. But look at this, rocky, steep as hell. Oh. It's reminding me of Charlie's Creek. Okay, now it's gonna get all chill now that I put on the GoPro. But man. Oh. This is some rough stuff. Oh, what do I do? What do I do? Oh. 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 Holy shit. Jesus. Oh. I'm being a baby, right? Oh. This is some, this is some Smoky Mountain 500 caliber stuff though, Jesus. Oh, 
Oh, Johnny Powell, you gotta move to North Carolina, man. Come on, dude. When did it rain? Oh, Jesus. Oh. 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 I see a couple of tracks, but doesn't look very traveled. Oh, jeez. Oh. All right, I think the GoPro is probably gonna die soon, but I just wanted you to get a little taste of this. Hopefully I will put this route in the description because if you're in this area, holy crap. Starting at Hot Springs, I mean, this has been some great, Great stuff. Oh, de depending on what your definition of great is. All right, I'm going through. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Oh. Wow, I feel like I'm pushing my luck on this stuff. But the Hemi, the weight of the Hemi isn't a... Okay, what do I do? I bomb it. The weight of the Hemi isn't bumming me out. Christ. Oh. Hurricane Gap. I think anything with the word hurricane in it, you better watch out. Jesus. Checking to see if anything has fallen off. I haven't been on anything like this in, with the Moscow gear. Moscow gear. Oh, Jesus. The rockiness is insane. Oh, my God. Johnny Pow would be in his glory on this shit. Oh, I think I might need a break sometime soon. Oh. Oh, 
slippy and slidey. Dudes, if I come to a gate after all this, you are going to see a grown man cry. That's how it's gonna be. Oh shit. Oh Jesus. Oh. I would say I'm barely in control at all times. I am just one small screw up. Oh, oh, like right there. Away from going off the edge of this crap. Oh. Oh. My forearms, man. Oh my god. I'm getting killed here. Oh, oh. Slippy slidey, rocky rocky, steepy steepy, oh, oh, <laughs> oh my god, I'm gonna have to stop, I'm gonna have to stop, where's a good place to stop? Oh shit, oh damn! Oh, Slippy! Oh, oh my god! Okay. This looks deepish. Well, oh, that gate better not be for me. Oh shit, this looks like quicksand. Oh, this is where I get into trouble, like slowing down, trying to, uh, I should have just bombed it and not thought about it. Now I'm screwing myself. I wanna go up the right side, don't I? But I'm gonna fall. I can feel it. I can feel it. Can you feel it? Oh, Jesus. Oh, whoa. When did it rain? suck for not being able to show you this road it's awesome it's sketchy it's just a, a little bit more dangerous than I should probably be doing by myself but it's uh, it's very fun it's barely a road all right this was kind of fun but now whoa now I'm, I'm ready for it to be over Oh, not another one. Jesus Christ. Should have bombed it. Should have bombed it. What do I do? Do I go around or do I just... Oh, oh come on. I'm going left. Who knows? Who knows? Oh, what if it's totally mud? Shit, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Is that clear? Oh. 
Ugh. Get off me, Branch. Oh, man. I'm scared. Oh! Oh! God damn it, I'm getting lucky. Lucky! Oh shit. Oh my god. Enough already. Oh. Oh. Oh shit. Oh. Oh. Ah. Oh. Ah. Okay. Ah. That was bad. Ah. Ah. I mean it wasn't bad, but it wasn't good. I can't believe it took that long. Okay. Okay. Okay, that wasn't fun, and my confidence is shaken, and this. I just walked it, there's like a ledge right here, slippery, slippery ledge, and right about there, it gets incredibly deep from there over. If I go in that, I'm fucked out here, just completely fucked. So, uh, I do not know what to do. I mean, the only thing I can do is try to get up, stay on that edge, get up there without falling, and just bomb it up there. I mean, there's an, I can't go through the middle. It's too deep. I will get stuck. Uh, not sure what I'm gonna do here. You know what I mean? Because I think you think I'm lying. Like, this is chill. This is chill. Then, it's, oh, I guess I should show you. Okay, so that's, that's nothing. But if you slip, it goes like that, which, and I can feel, it's just like cement mud at the bottom. And it's, that's deep. That is deep. I don't care what you say. Well, the GoPro died again. And uh, I've been sitting here for like five or 10 minutes trying to decide what to do. And I don't know how far I am from civilization, but I have put my chances at staying on that ledge without slipping down into the hellhole of mud at about I'd say I have about a 8 to 9.7% chance of making it and making it up that without falling to the right straight in upside down while all of that would be excellent excellent video I just, uh, 8 to 9.7 is not a good enough chance for me. And there's no way, there's no way around, there's no way across. I can't, I can't do it. This is very unlike me to make a wise decision. And believe me, I do not want to go back down that road. Because it was hard. And I'm tired now. I was not... I was not expecting this road, honestly, because I think I'm here on accident. I didn't mean to be here in the first place, and I know nothing about this road. It's pretty awesome, but the, the water is too much. I can't, I can't do it. I'm a failure. So uh, anyway, the GoPro is dead. I'm going to turn around and try not to crash and try to find a way to 
a paved road. I might just have to go back the way I came the whole way. So that's where we're at. Ooh. Well, I made it back to this intersection. It's still quite a ways to Hot Springs and there's no other way to go. This, this road, I gotta check this out when I get home. But uh, I guess I was in Tennessee there for a bit. And uh, this is the Appalachian Trail. I just met some hikers. I'm gonna get to Hot Springs. Well, from that intersection where the uh, Appalachian Trail crossed over, it was like good road back to Hot Springs. It didn't take that long, but I've, I went 100 miles in four hours. Four hours. So I'm keeping up with my uh, CT125 TAT. Average miles per hour of 25. But man, that was brutal. That was brutal. Hurricane Gap kicked my ass. And uh, the bike is ultra dirty, disgusting. And I'm excited because the other day I got back from a filming trip in the RV and uh, I have this gas powered water, what are they called? Water pressure, pressurized water, washer thing, whatever it's called. Anyway, I hate it. And I lost my mind and went to Home Depot and bought a electric one and I love it. So I'm psyched to use that. And on my way back uh, on the, after that intersection, there was another road that, that kind of went deeper into Tennessee that I think I could have taken to complete sort of what I wanted to do today. But at that point it was just too late and I couldn't do it. Um, but man, some interesting stuff up there. And it's crazy, I, like, I'm always lurking on the ADV rider, regional rides, you know, looking for tracks, and I've never seen anything about those roads. Is everyone keeping it a secret? Anyway, it's a pretty cool uh, area, and I'm going back. seems like all these day rides I do, like I have a plan and it just does not work at all. It's still fun, but 